Okay, so we are now picking. No, no, we are not picking. It's... Okay, we have Zagara, it's Infernal Shrines. It's Infernal Shrines, they have Keltas. Keltas Zul. So do I want to go for Falstead here? Probably do, right? Just to prevent some roam from Zul, maybe? Uh, with our Falstead pressure on him? I think it's a good choice. I think it's a good choice. Uh, I don't know what to pick now. Let's grab Falstead. I think it's a good choice. We do want some melee, maybe. Nah, no, it's fine. We don't we don't need melee. Who needs melee heroes anyway? We'll just kill them with our range. Because Zul is really good versus melee heroes. And just picking them into him would kind of be a bad idea, I think. Like if we went for somebody like Thrall. Maybe Greymane. It probably would have been a bad choice versus Zul. He would have just slowed our attacks down. Kept us where he wants us to be, kind of. So with the range, we should be able to kill everybody pretty fast like if Zul ever tries to engage us we'll just kill him uh, with uh, consistent damage from the Garvin Lunara with their poke and everything everybody should be at quite low health for me to just kill them with uh, our hammer rank and everything but Oriel is actually coming up for the enemy team and this means that they will be able to prevent the kills so it's going to be a really hard job for us as a Falstead to assassinate people since they have Oriel. But at the same time as Falstead we can completely deny any value from the Entomb that enemies might get. And like... And other engages I guess. But I definitely, I think I do want to save my Mighty Gusts. To just cancel out in tomb every time. Although it has a shorter cooldown, but it can get a lot of value if enemies like, kind of commit to it. But at the same time, they don't really have the follow up. Like now that I look at it, if they had somebody like Stroll or Greymane instead of Hammer, they could have followed up on the tombs and killed people that get caught. Uh, instead, we have our. Like, in, aside from Keltas, there isn't really anybody who can capitalize on the fact that somebody is caught in the Entomb. Especially if they catch somebody like Muradin. Like, there is no way he's going to die just from Keltas and Hammer's damage alone. So I'm kind of interested how this plays out in the end. Because I don't see this working out for the enemy team at all. Their draft is a little bit weird, but they will have lots of heals. Uh, if Oriel just puts her Bestow Hope on Hammer and just keeps uh, that healing uh, from her auto attacks going, that can really hurt us. Because they don't have mana, so they can sustain basically forever. As long as Hammer has something to shoot, uh, they will have almost infinite amount of uh, healing energy. Whereas we will eventually run out of mana. So we kind of want to finish off the team fights really early. Also Oriel pick versus Lunara was a good idea. Because Lunara's like Lunara wants to spread her poison onto everybody and just slowly choke them out with uh, uh with the damage over time. And Oriel can just heal it up uh, with her with her AoEs pretty easily as long as her team keeps fighting. So kind of she kind of counters Lunara. Not as much as Rhaegar does, I think, because Rhaegar can consistently heal, uh, outheal the poison damage. But Oriel can really dish out those huge bursty heals that can keep the enemy team safe. So we do want maybe to do some roaming early game uh, to get some like really fast kills. Meridian is kind of right, we don't have too much wave clear. 
Like, we can clear waves decently as long as we have two people in the lane. Like, me and Meridian can clear, me and Rhaegar can clear a lane quite consistently with some of our skill shots, uh, so, so some of our skills, Lunara also. But on our own, uh, we'll kind of we'll have slightly slightly worse time doing that. I don't even know if that was worth it, uh, because Hammer obviously gave some uh, energy for Oriel there to... Uh, Okay, Meridian is apparently AFK, so that's fun. Okay, he's back. Great. We almost lost him, but almost is not quite there. So Zul will definitely roam to lanes and uh, soak the XP there. We want to be really careful about how we engage this. I was waiting for... Meridian stun, there we go. Uh, can we get a kill? We should be able to, there we go, a kill. Nice. This is exactly what we needed here. I will fly mid lane, try to get as much XP as possible. Won't get much though, sadly. Let's clear the mines. Ah, uh, he should have actually stunned Zul instead there. Oh, that was very aggressive of me. Nah. Without the stun, we can't really kill her. Yeah, this wave clear from Zul is gonna be really tough to deal with. Um, especially now, since Zul can just start... Start basically soaking experience and pushing lanes instead of uh, contesting the shrines. It's gonna be quite... Quite a difficult time for us. Yeah, this is... Almost irrelevant damage we are doing there. Uh, can we get a kill? A stun? Is that enough? Yep, that's actually enough. Oh no! They both dodged my uh, hammering there. Let's finish off those things that have low health. Is Zul here? No, Zul is pushing, maybe? I don't know what Zul is doing. Um, hammer gains? Man, I don't know what to go for here. Maybe Updraft uh, to avoid those symptoms uh, easier, I think. I think that's gonna be valuable. Oh, Lunara is sadly dead. Man, we just need three. We just need three of these guys. There we go, got him. Uh, I We can't really follow up with the damage. I will actually go top and push instead. Let's actually grab this. I will be there in just a second. Okay, tap the fountain. These guys will die first, uh, so I'm not worried about losing any XP here. Oh no, I actually took the damage for no reason. I won't be able to kill him too, I think. There we go. Oof. That was a little bit... A little bit weird. I maybe kind of wanted to kill him a little bit faster there. Okay, now we have boomerang, so we can secure kills super easy. The only thing that can prevent kills now is crystal ages. As long as they are low, as long as the enemies are low, uh, so it's gonna be something we need to deal with. Lunara probably wanted to spread the poison from the start here, to get as much value as possible. Okay, let's uh, let's go back. We have our flight and we don't have mana, so we'll just go back and fly in. We are rocking the damage charts, exactly what you want to be doing as Fall said. Okay, uh, Meridian look, is looking for a gank. I should have casted my Q earlier. That was my bad, completely. I didn't want to miss it, but I should have. I should have just casted it from the start. 
That's my biggest dealing ability, biggest damage dealing ability, and I didn't use it at all there, so... Kind of my bad, really good, like, really good stun by Meridian, although he did set up himself a little bit too aggressively there. But if I followed up properly, he would have been so dead. A uh, hammer would have been so dead, but did not meant to be. Was not meant to be. So we have Zul here, doing his Zul thing. Okay, let's step the fountain and clear the slain. We'll hit level 10 actually pretty fast here, so that's really nice. I probably should stop wasting mana when I don't really need to. There's Keltas in there, so I should be careful about that. But I do want to clear this uh, mercenary camp before I do anything else. Now we have our Mighty Gust. Uh, Lunara is in a little bit of... No, she's fine. Okay, if Lunara actually was in a little bit of trouble there, I would have uh, maybe jumped in and tried... Uh... No, that's actually pretty bad. Our healer is lagging and we want, we want the ancestral healings to land. And that's kind of tough when everything you do has a delay. And casting something that has a delay, it just amplifies everything. Oh, I, I really thought that Leoric would step into the smoke screen there to get some vision. No, we don't. I, at least I don't. We actually lost a lot of XP bottom. We probably should have pushed with the Punisher. But I still think that uh, doing the split sulk is also a, a good idea. This will kind of force enemies uh, to defend uh, this lane eventually. Yeah, and we got two kills somehow. Oh my god, I actually again didn't cast my hammer rank, but that time I didn't have... I couldn't do that because Oriel knocked me out of, uh, of the range there. Well, we got a fort mid and a fort top from this. Also, we got a bunch of kills and we have almost three level lead, which is just beautiful. No, we actually have a three level lead. Uh, we will maintain the three level lead right now and that's really, really good for us. Still rocking those damage charts, although Lunara is quite close with her consistent poke and constant poisoning. Uh, she can easily dominate the number of shards, especially uh, in the late game, because every every hero scales 4% per level, health, damage, everything. Lunara scales 5%, I believe, every level, so she can easily do more damage than anybody else can do in the late game. Uh, I will probably go for Flowrider, I want the abilities, I want to make sure that we toss out as many hammer ranks as we can, get as many skill shots as possible, uh, do what we are supposed to do. Okay, that was probably unnecessary, but I really didn't want her to escape and she would have been able to, I think, because uh, she would have, after the crystal ages, everybody stood in it, so she would have full energy and that way she would have been able to heal herself with just a bunch of health. Okay, Raker is getting better, it's nice. Nice, always nice to see that a person isn't lagging on your team. Always nice to have that equality advantage. We don't want to kill him, I just wanted to do some damage. Uh, get my stacks going and everything. Clear this, guys. Okay, the top shrine is active, and we are looking for an engage bottom here. Okay, we got a kill. I think that's that's kind of like good enough. We don't want to force this any further. We got a kill. Now we can focus on the objective and. Gets the value going. I will actually clear this lane. 
kill myself a regen globe, give ourselves some XP, uh, put us closer to level 16 here. Uh, sadly, we don't have hammer gains, uh, so this... I, this probably is something I should have gone here for, for hammer gains on this map exclusively, uh, just to get the, the ability to clear this objective without losing any health. Because right now I can't really do that at all. Which is definitely not the best. You always kind of want to have uh, these minions in like uh, two... In two groups, because you can't really group them into one group. Because of the aggro ranges and everything. But keeping them in two uh, groups stacked for the AoEs is quite nice. I would really appreciate some healing from Rhaegar here. And he tossed out a healing ward, exactly what I needed, one chain heal, and that's just enough to get me to full health. And now we'll have airy gusts, uh, more movement speed on our tailwind, mm, faster faster delay, yeah, that's, that's the right way of saying it. Faster delay, and that's really, really nice overall, just to be able to have that uh, positional advantage, as well as... Okay, I didn't want to tank any more shots there from Zagara for no good reason. I don't think we can capitalize on this also. There we go, a kill on... Actually we could have, we actually did capitalize on this comp like... Incredibly well. So that's cool, but I do think we need to disengage. We are low on health, our Rhaegar is falling out of mana. We do want to get... We just want to keep the lead. We don't want to force anything unnecessary here. Zero deaths. Beautiful stuff. Okay, Rhaegar wants to solo camp. Why the hell not? We can grab this one. As we'll say, yeah, they will actually move up, which is nice. Uh, I'm low at mana, so that's why I'm doing this. Because I will go back anyway to regen my mana. So this way I don't feel like I'm wasting any time. Okay, let's get our mana topped out. And then we'll fly in. Whoa, that's that's a little bit too close there from Leoric. Can we actually scout him? There we go. He was right there. Man, look at the damage. Yeah, but since there was only the Auric, I actually felt super confident with just flying there. Like I saw, I believe I saw the enemy team there. On that side of the map. I just want to keep clearing this, which we just need to keep, keep the pressure going. And not wasting any experience. Wow, this is a, this is a super fast clear with Lunara. Uh, with some uh, shield damage from uh, Rhaegar there. Really good stuff. Man, I try. I tried to actually catch all of them there, but we only ended up catching one person. But it, it's kind of it's kind of fine. Okay, we don't want to force this too much. We don't want to die. Because we can just, like, we are so ahead <clears throat> that we we lose more. We lose a lot more than we gain from all of these engages uh, if we screw up. So we want to be playing super safe. I will have Gust in 20 more seconds. So, like, if we ever catch one of them... We can just uh, force and engage with the uh, Mighty Gust and hopefully our team will commit to it and uh, help us with killing the enemies. Uh, we don't have really too much damage in our Cameron though. Oh, I actually walked into that. That's, that's cool. We want level 20 though. Oh, we, we should have waited. We should have stalled. 
on it. Like that would have been such a clutch play if we stalled uh, the shrine and focused on getting the experience instead. That would have been so great for us. And that's a kill. And that's a kill. That's why Falstad is ridiculously strong. Uh, I will go for Epic Mount. Okay, he will jump somebody. Oh, it's a maw. Oh no, the AoE damage from Keltas. Man, it really kicks in now. Oof, we want to we want to heal up. We can disengage. If anything too bad happens. There we go, this should be it. Oh, nice finish, nice finish there. I was actually afraid that uh, I would have killed myself with that uh, aggressive flight gust play, but it works out in the end. Oh, I'm out of mana. No, I don't want to die. I honestly don't want to die. Please don't kill me. No! Yes, I survived. I'm still alive. Yes. Yes. No deaths. Beautiful stuff. Whoa, well played team, well played.